And you probably remember that there was a lot of back and forth. Is yeah, Gulf absolutely. War illness real? Is it not real? And I'll tell you, this report is really quite stunning. It's from a panel of scientific experts. It's going to be presented to the Veterans Administration. It says that one out of every four veterans deployed to the Gulf War in 90 and 91 suffered from Gulf War illness. That is indeed a huge number. Yeah. Uh, a bigger number than a lot of people expected. Well, I have to ask you, part of the back and forth is to try to determine a cause. Is there anything in the study, in this reporting, to indicate what caused Gulf War illness, sickness, the syndrome? Yes, indeed there is. And let's first talk about what Gulf War illness is. Great, great. Uh, first of all, it's, a, it's sort of a conglomeration of different problems, pain, headache, pain throughout yeah. the body, GI problems, problems with thinking, with memory and concentration. And this one, Tony, this is the big one, Lou Gehrig's disease. You haven't heard that so much no. associated. And what they found was that vets who were deployed to the Gulf War in the mm. early 90s, they came down with Lou Gehrig's disease twice as often, twice as often as other vets who were not deployed. That is a huge number. And we were talking about the cause, so let's yeah. talk about it. Because there were all sorts of theories floated as to what the cause was for right. Lou Gehrig's disease. I mean, I'm sorry, for Gulf War illness. Yeah. So they came up with two things. One of them is uh, pesticides, mm -hmm. that, that vets who use pesticides. And the other one was anti-nerve gas mm -hmm. pills. And so what's really Interesting yeah. here, it, so pesticides and anti-nerve gas pills. And let's bring back what we had there a second ago. This is a really interesting sentence that just says it all yeah. um, about this report. It says, scientific evidence leaves no question that Gulf War illness is a real condition with real consequences and real causes and serious consequences. That really says it all. I mean, that, that you would think might end the debate. I wonder what can be done now for the veterans. Well, part of the problem that this report points out is that there hasn't been a lot of research done on Gulf War illness. And so what this report says is, look, we've been spending less and less money on research since 2001. They call for a renewed effort at research so that they can figure out just what you said, how do you treat these problems?